Bristol on Friday night, the weekend's here. You guys excited? Yeah! Is that because is that you guys have jobs? Is that what that is? <laughs> I don't have a job. Uh, people ask me, Mikey, if you don't have a job, well, how do you make money and live? It's, uh, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, I have a sponsor person who I like to call Dad. <laughs> and uh, don't judge me, right? Because if my dad gave you guys money, I'm pretty sure you would take it too. <laughs> my mom did, she took half. <laughs> my mom's pretty cool, man. She was born with uh, no sense of smell, which is kind of weird on its own, right? Even weirder is how she still manages to have a favorite perfume. <laughs> so it's Chanel number five, if anyone's interested in dating my mom. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I get up. That's what I get every year for Mother's Day, right? Except, well, at least that's what I say. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what I what I actually do is uh, repackage an existing bottle with diluted whiskey. <laughs> Everyone in my family pictures an alcoholic. <laughs> that's how Dad won custom. <laughs> I say one, he lost, he's, uh, I'm 31. <laughs> he's still paying for this shit. I, uh, I recently, uh, I was in Melbourne for the comedy festival. Do we have anyone from Melbourne here? One. <laughs> so, I don't know, there's a lot of hipsters in Melbourne, and uh, people, people don't like them, and I think that's because they don't understand uh, what hipsters are. I, I figured it out. Hipsters is what happens when emos don't commit suicide. <laughs> uh, so now every time I see a hipster, I'm like, hey, right on. You made it. <laughs> Gives me hope. Do there any vegans here? No. <laughs> they learn from a Melbourne guy. So. No. Uh, vegans are kind of annoying to me, right? Mostly, like, it's probably because I, I don't like eating vegetables. So it's like a case of, like, sour grapes, right, that I ate and then didn't like. Yeah. But every time, uh, every time a vegan hears... Every time a vegan, uh... Every time they hear me say that I don't like eating vegetables, they say things to me like, Mikey, if you eat vegetables for long enough, you'll learn to love them. You know, to me that sounds like Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> now every time a vegan says that to me, I lock them in my basement. <laughs> Before Melbourne, I was in New York uh, doing some comedy and stuff. And I was excited to find in New York that uh, they legalized gay marriage, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, really? <laughs> Um, yeah, like I'm not gay, right, but, but um, like most of my friends that, uh, that, that live there are dudes and uh, I, I want a green card. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not like an act gay. Yeah, I'd probably even go so far as to maybe like even like blow a dude. <laughs> I just so I can get a photo for the immigration officer. <laughs> like, no, man, no, no, that's, that's I'm not gagging. Uh, those, are, those are tears of joy. <laughs> so happiness looks fun. Right. Uh, well, I was over there, like the big thing happening over there now is the elections, right? Uh, you know, Obama's not doing so well in the polls, and, and, and like, I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people, like, I heard this one guy over there saying, uh, saying stuff like, Obama, screw that guy. He didn't keep his election promises. He didn't keep his election promises. I was like, what? You know, what politician does, right? None of them fucking do. In fact, the only one I could think of that even came close was Hitler. Last I checked, he wasn't doing very well in the polls either. <laughs> Great, I'm Mike and have a good night. <laughs>